Hey everybody, this is Trailer Jam, and today we're gonna watch My Little Pony Generation 5 Make Your Mark Chapter 6, Episode 1 The Isle of Scaly. So, yeah, we're back with Make Your Mark. This time we have a relatively short chapter. Chapter 6 has four episodes, out of which there are. There is a one two parter, and the final episode is also a two parter, but smushed into one 45 minute episode. So, basically, only three different episodes two of which then being double length. Yeah, uh, as you can maybe tell, I am a bit under the weather, but uh, well, we still, we gotta do this. That's the problem when you do the reactions, you gotta watch the things relatively early on, when they are relatively fresh, and yeah, you have to record them when you do, so uh, let's hope for the best. I hope it won't sound too off. Anyhow, yeah, the Isle of Scaly, so we are visiting the Dragonlands, or this uh, generation's Dragonlands incarnation in the um, header, whatever you want to call this here on Netflix, I can see some dragon designs and, well, those are designs. Apparently the dragons are all quadrupeds now, so uh, more traditional dragons, not the way as, um, well, the younger dragons in G4 were. Also, no overly ginormous dragons like in G4. They all seem to be rather kind of pony sized. Yeah, I'm not sure what to expect here. Let's read the little blurb. The ponies visit the Isle of Skadi to ask the dragons to join the fight to stop Opalin. But the dragons aren't sure they should trust them. Well, if they send people like Izzy, then I can totally understand the dragons. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see if the dragons know anything more about anything. They are kind of sort of long-lived. At least they are in usual fantasy and it was also kind of an implication in uh, G4, so uh, they might know more, or maybe they also suffer from severe Alzheimer's like the ponies. Who knows? Nothing makes sense. Anyhow, I am waffling and uh, I should get this done before before the medicine kicks in, so uh, we, we should get started. Uh, however, before we get started, as usual, let me remind you to leave a like on the video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. You can also follow me on Mastodon, DeviantArt and Patreon. And speaking of Patreon, thanks to my patrons who support the channel directly. You can find the links to all those sites down in the description below. And of course, this is a Netflix reaction, so we will have the subtitles in the lower part of the screen, as well as the timer in the top left corner. So uh, yeah, you should be able to sync up the reaction with the actual episode. Hopefully, yeah, as usual, Netflix, so bring your own episode. It is what it is. And with that out of the way, let's not waste any more time. Here we go. Badum. Bright music. Ah oh, yeah, so we're taking the mayor stream. I mean, we, they don't have the weird magic, the magic portal. Why would you do that? Thank you. More no dragons. Well, I mean, if you didn't dig around the entire last uh, chapter, then you could have gotten there before her. This, is, this looks like a weird old sci-fi uh, sci show warp thing. Hyperspace, time travel, you know, nonsense like that. You mean your cutie mark, you only have one. I do at cost cutting measures. So it's only one mark. Still seem to have the same intro. Because of course we do. Well, it's it's the second one, the one where we have a little bit of misty here and here with a different main style. But still, same song and basically the same one. Still not going full anime here. Izzy is the only one having fun. Which, um, 
This is, you know, you, you pro could have probably flown around the, um, yeah, but you could have flown around the, your phone is almost empty. Could have gone around the, um, oh jeez. Oh, the thing doubles as a battery, that's nice. But yeah, could have gone around the mountain instead of through the cave. Time to barf. It probably won't. You see, that's not how it works, how anything works. I could have... That should not have worked. God damn it, Izzy. Yeah, could have hardly been worse. I mean, you have Izzy. That's a... Oh! It's still a bit bigger than I thought. That was not the question. Yeah, those are some designs. You do need help now. You are the leader now. I mean... <laughs> That's a great perspective. Oh jeez. That voice sounds familiar somehow. You literally should not get one. <laughs> Dragon Age, yeah. Or maybe Izzy. Or Posey. There are a lot of people I would consider evil here. We can only assume. And they're probably not. Don't use that word. Please don't sing. No, she actually sings. Jesus, really?
Wie heißt das, wo der Obi sagt? Just most of them. Like the only real one. Haven't you guys been asleep for like forever? So how would you know? Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, you have all the time. Yes, totally not. Oh, that was a terrible dead joke. That seems annoying. It's very different from the G4 Dragonlands. I'm kind of curious about the leader, however. Is it gonna is it gonna be Spike? No, they don't have any sort of political system. I'm not sure if that's actually something. Gee, I wonder why the lantern is straight. Yeah, we don't know how the lantern works. Yeah, I mean, it, it already looks like a fire hazard. Because it's janky, it was made by Izzy. She can bend water with her fire. Well, that's inconvenient. He. So is it gonna be Spike? I mean, I wouldn't be. I kind of, I kind of expect it to be Spike. It is Spike. I mean, look at that color. Yeah. 
and different voice. So see. Jeez, that voice. Did he know? Of course. You don't are not wearing a badge. Let's see if Spike knows anything. Probably not. Yeah, he lived with them for, for probably a few centuries. He conveniently too cannot remember. Oh, you screwed up with them. Good job. Hey, Baxter. <laughs> Why does you look like a villain there? So we we are going with the other corner, okay? So, magic being gone wasn't part of the plan. Uh, 
Well, you could probably bite Opalin's head off or something like that. But did... Do they have cutie marks now too? That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, of course he is. He's the main character. <laughs> yep, throw the baby. That's a that's a good plan. Yeah, that was the that scene there was kinda the banner image. So they looked significantly smaller, the dragons. Why are you rhyming? What is wrong with you? Well, so, yeah, that was the first episode, and that's, ah, uh, let, god damn it, let me read the freaking credits, can you please? We have a different outro song, but, uh, I'm gonna really have a real quick look here at the VAs, but, uh, of course, they don't write who, they just have additional voices, they're not saying who did what. I'm not sure how to feel about um, Spike's new voice. I mean, I mean, yeah, obviously he would sound different, but that that is so weirdly different. Also, he he, um, he somehow gives off some uh, I don't know some vibes that I'm not too keen on. He kind of reminds me a bit of uh, what was that Donkey from Shrek, you know kind of a bit very goofy, which uh, yeah, I think is maybe not that um, fitting here. Also, he just turned completely quadruped while not growing all that big. The height of the dragons is a bit strange. It's like they are significant, yeah, when we sit here they are significantly 
bigger than the ponies, but not quite as ginormous as uh, Red and Green Dragon from Adventures Magic or uh, Torch even. So um, yeah, they, they, they definitely went for a different design here. They're also very long and slender. You know, they're, they're not not this uh, bulky as Western dragons usually are. Kind of more noodly, <laughs> more tail than anything. Yeah, and, and let's say it straight out. I do not like Spike's new design. Though. That design is not a fan of the dragon designs, and especially Spike, I think, looks not good in this. I, I'm. Ooh. I mean, I mean, you can kind of recognize him, but not a huge fan of that. Not a huge fan of that design. Yeah, and of course, he also conveniently hardly knows anything. Um, we're going with the land of alicorns, which I think that was something that was mentioned in one of the previous generations, never in uh, the G4 official canon directly. Uh, Maybe something in the books or the comics. I haven't read all the comics, uh, only like half of them. Not sure if they, there was ever an elab elaboration on that, but uh, Land of Alicorns is not an entirely new concept. Can Twilight's plan to uh, hide magic and things? So apparently getting rid of magic, as in the ponies no longer having magic, that was not part of the plan, which that also the dragons went hibernating and Twilight did the spell, but what happened to Twilight? That, that was not mentioned, so why is she not around? Uh, and Spike doesn't seem like... Um, the way he's acting and the way he's talking about Twilight does not seem like... It doesn't imply that Twilight is dead or anything. We, we can probably say that he has no idea what's going on, uh, conveniently enough. But um, yeah, so... Again, this, this feels to me uh, like Opalyn could could probably have very easily have been dealt with. I mean, she's one alicorn versus five alicorns, bunch of dragons, various other nations, the unity crystals, the elements of harmony, or whatever or in whatever incarnation they may or may not exist. I mean, it would probably have been very easy to just blow opaline to smithereens. <laughs> that, that's just the thing. What, what makes her so strong? Well, uh, she's, she's an alicorn. Ooh, cool. So is Twilight. And Celestia. And Luna. And Cadence. And Flurryheart. So, uh, yeah. Also, there are a bunch of other creatures that can probably take on an alicorn. No, Discord, for example. And uh, who, who knows how strong uh, Torex become, became at some point. I mean, Chrysalis could take on an alicorn, so uh, why shouldn't he? Plus, of course, the dragon lords and the regular dragons and all that jazz. I mean, there are a lot of powerful creatures, so Opalin with literally nothing but her own magic. It's like, yeah, uh, even without magic, send Torch over there and step on her. Don't think she's gonna survive that. Yeah, it, it's a bit weird. Now, of course, if we except that this is its own thing, that is not actually related to G4 all that much, then yeah, maybe maybe then it's just Twilight versus Opalin and then she kinda had to do that because Opalin is maybe more of a real alicorn, a born alicorn and not a later ascended one like Twilight is. So maybe that means she's stronger, who knows? And everyone else doesn't exist because a uh, different universe, so... Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad that we get some explanation here, but uh, once again, every everyone has very convenient plot Alzheimer's. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're still stalking around in the dark, not knowing what's actually going on. I think I'm gonna try and tackle the next two episodes. Uh, just, I mean, we, we, we gotta get this done, so... Um, which means, yeah, we're gonna call it quits here. So... As always, I have been Stratagem, thanks for watching and see you next time.